The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. In continuation of the previous tape, assuming that each and every believer has been used to rebound in listening to this tape, because without rebound and of the mental ministry of light God, the Holy Spirit is not possible. Therefore, to take responsibility of our sin, we need to make sure that we have put that back into the hand of the Lord and get back into our divine dinosphere. This great divine dinosphere, which is so great and essential for us to note that it is our own divine palace, it is our own divine power, where light God, the Holy Spirit, constantly and consistently acts in us without this mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, it is highly impossible for us. Therefore, Lord God, the Holy Spirit will act through us only in the mental ministry as we go through in the divine dinosphere. And it doesn't act anywhere else. It is not in the old sin nature of your carnality, but it is purely in the knowledge of Christ, dear brethren. And that is what you and I have to note. Therefore, you need to make sure to be controlled of the Spirit by getting back to learn and to apply the truths that we are going to communicate for you because it is your life it is not a vain thing you may consider I have better knowledge I have better thing but dear brethren it is not that who we are but what are we in Christ to make ourselves perfection and complete in the knowledge of the realm of the word of the Lord our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ used 40 authors divine women authors to communicate this completed canon of scripture and we are here to take all the things pertaining to the perfection particularly in this church age being termed out as Alekenikitesos new spiritual species unto Christ, the doctrine, the doctrine of the mystery realm given and expounded for us in the church corpus of Ephesians, Philippians, and Colossians. What a great truth we do find there, followed by the book of Galatians as well, but we find the church corpus in Ephesians, Philippians, and Colossians. The mystery which was been hidden in the past, the mystery which has been made known now for us, this same mystery which calls for us the mysterion, wherewith it has been instigated by the heavenly citizens, and it has been given by the person of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who started it and we the believers have to follow it and we the believers have to look it and we are the believers have to learn from it and apply a realm of this polytheism of privileges wherewith you and I have been chosen and it cannot go anything further from the truth. The truth is the knowledge of Bible doctrine. The truth is the process. It is your own spiritual life. It is your own edification complex of the soul. It is your own self-discipline in a daily intake of Bible doctrine. We cannot be bought nothing to this world and we cannot take away anything from this world but we can take only one thing number one the resolvement in this angelic conflict as we believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ instant glorification and your experiential sanctification as you grow up is the maximum glorification of Lord as you go through in a day-by-day -day process in a day-by-day -day work in a day-by-day -day discipline in a day-by-day -day approach that is really pleasing unto Jehovah and that is what you and I have been called and to please that great Lord it requires the spiritual phenomena because now Knowledge of Bible doctrine is a spiritual phenomena, and Lord God, the Holy Spirit, can use us only when we are going through this great spiritual phenomena. Without this great spiritual phenomena, it is not possible for us to understand. That's why we have to go through rebound and get back into the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Since many pastors who are standing in the pulpit do not give importance to this rebound, that is 1 John 1 9, because it is not a license to sin but a license to serve back that great Lord, there have been many people without having the true maturity in the word of the Lord. They may quote scriptures, they may try to explain to you in the morality sense. They may try to tell you the importance of not being sinful to God. They may tell you X, Y, Z trends, but never they will come to tell you about this use of Maya, godliness and this unique spiritual life, the importance of the mystery doctrine of the church age. Because this use of Maya of godliness is of great importance. And it demands that we require, number one, the personal sense of destiny. It demands that we go through the first five stages of, of, ch adulthood, of childhood and the next five stages of adulthood. The childhood design is for the Old Testament saints. But something greater, something new, new in species, new in kind.
is this the remaining sense from personal sense of destiny that is number six till to the number ten occupation with Christ and do you know how much important it is for us even to complete that child, adult childhood a rebound is number one in the plot line of the soul without rebound it is not possible for us and that's why we emphasize a lot upon for you to get back into the fellowship because whichever conversation whichever word whichever method whichever technique you go you have to go through rebound and without rebound it is not possible not at all possible and we have to go through rebound. Whether you believe it, consider it, take it or not. Rebound, rebound and rebound. Number one priority, rebound. And greater our failure to know and to apply and to understand the simple truth, greater will be our failure in our negligence to get back into the fellowship of Lord God Almighty. Greater will be our failure of our spiritual growth. Greater will be our failure not to give importance to Bible doctrine. And rebound is number one. Dear brethren, we are there in the Alekene Ketesis period, new spiritual species unto Christ. We are there in a period which demands knowledge of Bible doctrine more than as never before in any other dispensation. In fact, even in every dispensation, knowledge of Bible doctrine is the only key, only method to approach that great Lord. Without this knowledge of Bible doctrine, we cannot approach and we can never approach. But in this dispensation of the church age, the knowledge of Bible doctrine has been more important than your own physical breath and the physical food that you consume to be kept alive on this earth. And in order to make knowledge of Bible doctrine number one priority, it has been given for you to use rebound. That is 1 John 1 9 in the privacy of your priesthood. And this rebound, 1 John 1 9, demands the mental ministry of God get the Holy Spirit as never before. And this rebound of 1 John 1 9, so that you can get back to understand the spiritual phenomena, the spiritual truths, the mystery which your ears, ears can't hear, eyes can't see, and your heart cannot perceive. Only Lord God, the Holy Spirit, knows about it, and He is the one who is going to reveal it for us. That is what you and I have to come, you and I have to note, you and I have to consider. There is no great joy for me to scream and tell again and again the same principle. But my men will perish without having the simple truth. My men will not attain to the spiritual maturity because to be occupied with Christ is number one criteria for us. And my men will not come to the reality of the word, the greater our negligence to know the truth. And what a great painful pleasure it is for us. The great anguish, the great grief, that we, the believers of this church age, being termed out as Alekene Ketesis, everyone has been predestined to confirm to the image of Christ, and we have been glorified to get maximum glorification to Lord as he intakes day by day process of Bible doctrine. Every believer, every believer, whether he is learned or unlearned. And greater the failure to understand the simple truth will make me to remind once again the passage of Philippians when Apostle Paul tells. In weeping, I am writing it unto you in 3, chapter 3. For them, their belly is their God. For them, their emotion, their bowels are their God. And since the same thing is repeating again in the pulpits, Without having a right origin to inculcate with isagogical, categorical, and exegetical explanation of the word, as the word it is, it has to be taken through the right options after the post canon period and the right options through the unique spiritual gifts that has been given to us to inculcate, to inculcate, to inculcate. Without this right information, many are the people who have really lost the truth in Bible doctrine, dear brethren. And that is what we really look, that is what we really think, that is what we really consider. My men are been perishing. It is for the joy of my men, said Nehemiah. But we don't have any joy today, dear brethren. Any joy. No, not at all. But rather, the retaliation through mental attitude sins will cause them to think that they are really great enough to do this. They are really great enough to do that. 
If he wants to die, let him die. That's what they're happy. But never they're seeing that he is losing his eternal escrow contract. Escrow contract which has to be reward of blessings in time as well as in eternity. The simple principle of this is number one, desire for truth. Number two, love for God. Number three, your incredible stability, your strength of character. Number four, your perseverance. Number five, number six, motivation. Number seven, momentum. And number eight, sharing the happiness of Christ. And this is what you and I have been given, the escrow contract of eternal one. Lord the Fa God the Father, grantor, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our mediator, and we, the believers, are grantee. We will the one, we are the one who are going to take it. And if you don't have the first principle in that desire for truth, you will not come up, you will not grow up, you will not consider it. No doubt how well you may be, how best you may be, how worse you may be. Walking a pattern of unbelievers, it may be. No doubt whatever it is, you are going to not come to the point of realization of truth. But you need to be very careful, thoroughly careful, to understand the reality of Bible doctrine. We are not here to plead ignorance. We are not here to claim XYZ trends through psychological hoops of emotionalisms. We are not here to do this, to do that. We are here to grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine. That's what in the dying declaration of Second Peter tells to us. A man who is about to die is telling you the importance of the word. But who cares them, says today's congregation. Today's apostasy trends tells who cares them. What is the point of caring back? What is the point of thinking back? That is what they want to tell. Dear brethren, this is your life. Whether you want to live a life of pleasing to God, that is left to you, or you want to live a life that is not pleasing to God, even that is left to you. But we are here only to blow the trumpet, as Ezekiel was been warned to blow the trumpet. And we are here to tell you that, the importance of the mystery doctrine of the church age. We shall rise a shout against you! And they will never stop blowing the trumpet till the last breath of this earth. Whichever manner it may be, rapture or death. Till to the last breath, we will be rising a trumpet. We will be rising a voice and tell to you the truth. And you take it or not, that is left to you. We shall continue in the next tape. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that I was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that, Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.